Hi friends, good morning. In today's session, we are going to discuss a few important things, continuation for the Python. Sir, just a minute, I will share you the syllabus which we discussed in the last previous sessions, okay? Yeah, so I shared some links also for you people. So if you want to practice your programs in online compiler, then this is the link, best suitable link. And uh, this is nothing but a syllabus, syllabus copy link. And uh, hacker rank, I told already at the beginning, so hacker rank programs will be solved in our sessions. So that link is nothing but this one. So hackerrank.com slash Durgasoft Python Prakash. So this is the tentative link from Monday. The regular batch is going to start. So from that, we are going to change this link. Okay. And the demo sessions. Sir, three demo sessions has been completed. All the three demo sessions are there in our YouTube channel. If anyone is a new for this session, you can you can listen these sessions. Okay, then. So actually, our complete Python is divided into sir five parts. First part is nothing but we are going to discuss about uh, fundas, fundamentals of the Python, and the second object-oriented principles we are going to discuss. And the third one, advanced concepts in the programming, like exception handling, multi-threading, such type of advanced topics we are going to discuss. And then, sir, how to store the information, how to store the information in storage areas, like we will discuss files and then databases. How you can store your files, how you can store your information into the file, and how you can store your information into the database that part also we will discuss as a part of fourth part then gui programming like a tick inter module we are going to discuss with the database connectivity okay sir these are the things which we are going to discuss as a part of our python course okay then if you are having any queries sir happily you can mail me sir k prakash babu technical trainer at gmail.com this is my mail id official mail id you can you can uh, regularly if you are facing any queries sir this is the problem which i am facing or this is the program which i am not getting so happily you can you can mail us okay then sir coming to the <clears throat> previous classes just a few minutes we will uh, we will review the topics because this is the last demo session from monday we are going to regularize this batch okay sir if you are having any issues with uh, syllabus or if you are having any queries regarding course Sir, happily you can contact our admin people. So, 3885 252627 7207-212427. These are the contact numbers. Durgasoft online training at gmail.com. Okay. Yes, myself, Prakash Babu, technical trainer, having 12 years of experience in various technologies. So, the course name is Core and Advanced Python. Total duration of the class is 60 days. Exactly. Within 60 days, we are going to finish our classes so the batch timings are strictly from 7 a.m to 8 a.m so one hour session will be there exactly we will start at 7 and we are going to wind up at 8 or 8 15 okay depends on the topic then these are the benefits you are going to get clear explanation will be given running notes will be shared for you after completion of the class recording videos will be provided with seven months access 300 plus programs will be covered in live multiple choice questions will be there on friday actually today i plan to discuss multiple choice questions but we will we will do that in monday okay coding challenges hacker rank links sir in our database 600 plus python programs are there but for you your batch i am going to share 500 programs you need to practice by yourself if you are having any queries i will i will i will be there to answer okay <clears throat> yeah in the last session sir we had a discussion about uh, python what is a reason why we have to go for python what benefits you are going to get after python what thing you have to learn okay so we released it in the first class uh, have you have you observed first look our motion poster we we released python is very simple and easy you can raise concise code so i have explained some programs even basic calculator program gui program also i have shown but anyway the source code is not pasted here because we need to uh, discuss these topics in the gui then sir a program to read the content of the file 
and print that on the same screen sir how to do that suppose assume this is my file array if you want to print this information only a single line of uh, instruction we have to take sir open of demo.txt dot read and this entire information which we have uh, which we have uh, uh, extracted from the file directly we can print by using print function so that a beautiful program we discussed in the last sessions and then sir python program to calculate factorial of the given number just we have to import math and math dot factorial of any number automatically it is going to calculate factorial of that number so like, like that we have uh, inbuilt library support is there okay then sir python program to swap given two integer values do you know in the olden programming languages we are going to we are going to concentrate on uh, logical areas like if you want to swap you need to take a temporary variable or without a temporary variable also we can do by taking some mathematical or a relational or any other operators help but in python a single instruction is enough to swap two values are sir how it is how it is have you observed a comma b is equal to b comma a the value which is there in the b will be copied to a and the content of a will be copied to b internally our python will take care of each and everything so that part with the live execution i displayed for you people and how to run how to run this is swap file so we know py is the command which is used to execute your python program anyway that part we are going to discuss in today's session okay so then python program to find the smallest of the given two int values array if i am having two integer values how can you calculate the smallest very simple instruction sir a is equal to 10 b is equal to minus 20 sir print a print a if a value is less than b otherwise print b have you observed it is just like a english statement array print the value of a if my a value is less than b otherwise print the value of b okay sir automatically it is going to display the smallest number then sir we have seen a python database program to insert the records into the database with the live i explained in the last session first demo class and the third demo class i explained but in today i am not going to uh, explain this program sir we have a program called uh, insert into mysql.py so it is a program which will insert okay three fields like id name email these three fields we are going to insert into the database that part also with the live i displayed so such a type of applications we can develop in python okay then sir we discussed about the programming in that i covered a language programming language okay types of programming languages also we covered and then we have seen translators in that compiler what is meant by compiler what is meant by interpreter when we have to go for when we have to use interpreter and compiler and uh, how how the compiler and interpreter behave here in compiled based programming language interpreter based programming language do you know if you take java program it is using compiler that's why in your program if you are having multiple errors all the errors will be displayed at a time but if you take python program in this python totally we have three errors are there but a topmost error will be displayed only one time so we have to rectify this error then only remaining errors will be displayed so like this line by line execution will be there in python next sir we have seen introduction to the python array what is meant by python who developed python okay yeah so who developed python in which year python has been developed all these things we discussed in the last session and where we can use python in which application areas we are going to use this python and why why the name python came and which companies are using python okay then what kind of approaches are followed by python so scripting functional object oriented and uh, with the, with example i displayed all these things okay so write a program to explain scripting level approach all right can you write a python program 
to to mention it as a scripting yes we did it okay then write a program to explain functional approach yes we have designed yes we have designed okay next uh, write a program to explain about object oriented yes of course we covered in the last session okay sir these are the things uh, which we discussed in the last sessions okay sir now in today's session we may we may cover these parts okay so python installation so sample some some sample programs i am going to cover and how to execute python program in online as well as offline mode okay so comments comments used in python and the comments in python sir these things we are going to discuss in today's session sir up to this if you are having any doubts or if you are facing any problems yes please let me know in the chat window so that we will discuss these things okay yeah please now it's your turn yes please if you are having any doubts you can ask me now yeah so anyone new for this session please confirm anyone is new for this session yes please acknowledge me then only i can able to communicate with you people okay oh you people are there or not no response from your side no doubts yeah now yeah so let me let me go with uh, yeah anyone new for this batch anyone new today is the first class sir for myself anyone like that yes ajit you are new <coughs> okay so i am sharing uh, the demo classes links on chat window anyone if you are if you are new just refer this demo classes okay because it is a fourth class yes yeah so let me let me continue okay sir now what i am going to explain is sir python installation python installation are sir can you explain me how to install python software sir it is it is very easy just like a normal software just like a normal software sir just a minute i will i will check how many installed versions are there in my system sir let me check sir py hyphen 0 sir py hyphen 0 is the command which is used to check what are all the installed versions in your local machine sir have you observed 3.9 is there okay 3.8 is there 3.7 is there 3.6 is there 3 all all latest versions i have so let me uninstall this 3.9 let me uninstall this 3.9 okay because i need to explain for you people right that's why sir i am going for control panel and i am going to remove i am going to remove sorry so python 3. Point, yes 3.9 let me remove 3.9 so meanwhile sir which website we can use to download python software okay sir do you know the url to download python software is nothing but uh, python's official website official website sir what is that website website okay sir http yes colon double slash www dot python dot org python dot org sir it is the official website to download python software let me copy paste that into yes yes this is nothing but the official website where you can find your python okay yes so this is nothing but 
python python okay official website so here you can you can observe you can observe this is python website sir if you click on this downloads if you click on this downloads you will get uh, the versions which is available and even so if you have time you can read this documentation in this documentation the complete story will be there okay a complete story will be there and some of the features are enclosed here okay there sir let me click on this download have you observed the latest version is already there sir download for uh, download for uh, windows what is the version what is the version okay sir have a look once python 3.9.5 so sir someone asked in the first session sir i i am using windows 7 is it is it going to work for uh, 32 bit or 64 bit which version of python i have to choose sir read read this note that python 3.9 plus that means 3.9 versions and above can't be used on windows 7 or earlier or if you are using windows 7 please upgrade to windows 10 okay because windows 7 will provide support up to python 3.8 from the 3.9 our windows 7 is not going to provide any support i hope the one person asked in the first beginning day one itself so for the time telling sir let me go to download 3.5 so automatically the downloading is going to be happen okay around 27 mb5 is there so yeah morning net net speed is there <laughs> that's why yes it is downloaded now you can run the file you can run the file okay so let me check if the uninstallation is completed or not yes yeah so now it is asking just observe the steps these steps are very very important sir please observe the steps sir here have you observed sir it is asking it is asking sir python python 3.9.5 which bit 64 64 bit we are we are installing python 3.9.5 sir 64 bit software okay sir here this is this is the thing which you have to click sir install now once if you click on this automatically it is going to install or if you want a customized install you can go but never recommended to go for customization just auto auto install you can click and one important thing is sir while doing this installation process sir take a bit very concentration you have to click on this you have to click on this so what is the meaning of this path sir your python will be shared in one folder you are running from some other folder you are doing the programs from here but all your python commands will be there here sir i want to use these commands in my path in my in my area then how how you have to do sir the path the entire url of this particular folder you have to save it in my computer's path my computer's path if it is shared then anywhere you can use these commands no issues at all so that is called as a path but in java we have to set it manually in python so at the installation beginning itself we have a checkbox once if you select this automatically it is going to add this path no need to check manually okay now sir now just i am going to check on this and i am going to click on install now sir it will take some time it will ask admin permission once if you click on okay it will take some time it will take some time okay to install this particular product it will take some time to install that product okay sir meanwhile let me prepare one python program let me prepare one python program so already we have done 10 programs okay let me take sir python 11th program okay sir what is the program is what is the program is python program okay sir python program to calculate to calculate okay square root square root of the number Array, i want to calculate square root of the given number this is my requirement sir i hope we have a library is there we have library is there math library using that library we can do that sir what is the program we need to import math library Array, import math then sir print of math dot sqrt of five it is calculating 
square root of 5 that's all sir just if you if you type these two python uh, two python instructions the program is going to execute sir if you want just go to others click on python so select ok paste your program and save the file so where we have to save sir assume the file name by default i will take test.py test.py and once if you press enter the python program is got to save okay sir let me check the installation procedure let me let me check sir meanwhile if you open py-0 oh yeah 3.9 is still it is there let me close this command prompt because 99 percent installation has been completed that's why it is showing sorry py space hyphen zero 3.9 is there okay no issues we will check we will check okay so you can use any ide so if you want to use any ide installation of this software is compulsory sir once if you done with this installation then only you can use any other ides those ides directly if you are installing it won't work because the path should be there okay then only it can able to execute the programs okay so uh, even we have a topic called the functions functional oriented programming is there there i will explain how to install pycharm how you can do the programs in pycharm okay that part we will take care don't worry so it is taking too much time yeah yes so this this was completed setup was completed now i saved this program yeah uh, i will explain sir i will explain Girider. definitely we will we will discuss okay soon let me regularize the batch there i will explain it is very easy just we need to use some commands in the ubuntu it will be there by default okay in the ubuntu it will be there by default yeah so installation has completed now let me open so go to the specified directory in the d colon in the prakash classes in python we created a batch called regular eatm sir py hyphen zero let me check sir is there any installed versions yes 3.9 is there sir i want to execute py space test dot py sir it will display square root of five have you observed 2.23 accurate value we got accurate value we got sir this is nothing but the way of executing your python program with the installation i explained okay sir any doubts in the installation please confirm any doubts in the installation please confirm guys yes i request everyone to please respond yeah yeah fine so now let me go with the next to program so what is my next to program is what is my next to program is sir python program python program to calculate to calculate area of the circle are i have a circle i have a circle for that we need to calculate area something like uh, mathematical mathematical related thing okay sir uh, yeah let me have one student is asking doubt sir can we write the code in text pad yes you can write yes we can we can write okay we can write no issues sir python program to calculate area of the circle sir i am taking this i am doing the program array radius 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 is equal to initially assume my radius is 0.12 i want to calculate a square i mean uh, area so we know how to print area the formula for a i i mean area is okay sir 3.147 pi value into radius into radius into radius two times you have to multiply because the formula is pi r square right so if i run this code what will happen sir py space test dot py it is going to display the area sir what is the area 
zero point zero four something like this we got. Okay, sir, I want to explain this program in different versions. Sir, this is nothing but version one, first version. Sir, let me go with the second version. Are what is this second version, sir? Sir, here have you observed? So I want accurate value. Are I want accurate value? No problem. So you can replace this three point one four seven with a predefined value in math module. We have pi constant is there. You can import that pi constant. So I am not changing any value. I am not changing any value. Sir, see the result. You are going to get accurate result. You are going to accurate. You are going to get accurate result. This is nothing but uh, this is nothing but how you can execute. Okay. So if you want to get accurate values, better to use predefined functions. Then, sir, just one small important announcement. Sir, observe here the same program I am doing like this. So radius instead of into radius, sir, I am taking radius square. So if I use a double star, if I use a double star, sir, what will happen? Radius square will be calculated. Radius square will be calculated. So double star is the predefined operator in Python. So let me execute this code. Sir, of course we got the same. Of course we got the same output, but there is a big difference is there. That part we will take care in the sessions. Okay, sir. If you take this program to execute this program, assume zero point, uh, sir, one two three four seconds is required. But if I execute this program, have you observed zero point zero 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 one two seconds may be required. So with respect to time, it is going to reduce instead of using multiplication operator. Okay, if I use double star operator, the speed will be there. That part we will discuss by using some. Uh, we have one module is there, time it module. Using that we can uh, capture the execution time of the instruction. That part I will discuss later. So this is nothing but a sample program I covered to calculate area of the circle. Okay, yeah. So hope uh, we completed Python installation and just basic example programs I explained. And you know how to execute the programs in offline and then online. Just you have to prepare a Python file with the dot extension and then we have to execute. Okay. Yes. Next, sir. What are all the various commands? What are all the various commands used in Python? Okay. Sir, do you know some basic commands are there? Basic commands are there. So before going to the execution of these basic commands, sir, a uh, few people, few people may have a doubt, sir. You have installed so many versions in your Python machine, sir. You have installed so many versions in your Python in your system. Are sir? Can you tell me some differences? <laughs> can you tell me some differences? Why these many versions are there in your machine, sir? Just to only for teaching purpose, I installed these versions. So do you know some concepts are came in 3.7? Some new concepts are came in 3.8. Some concepts are there from 3.5 itself. Some new concepts came in 3.9. Suppose if I am explaining, array students, this is the new concept came in 3.7. Then immediately those people may have a doubt in their mind. Array sir, really is it came in 3.5, 3.7? Can you show me the proof? In such cases, I will execute that program in 3.6, which will display error. Same program without modification. If I execute in 3.7, happily it is going to execute. Okay, sir, so just have a look once. I will show you. I will show you one program with respect to the versions. Okay, so one program with respect to the versions. I will explain. So Python program number 13. Listen, listen carefully. Okay, sir, so I want to explain a program. Program. Okay, sir, so with respect to versions. Don't worry. Some Python new feature also will be covered in this regular sessions guys. So wherever the situation demands there I will explain new features around 10 new features. We are going to discuss. Don't worry. Okay, sir. Now with respect to Python program, Are I have a test.py file is there. Okay, what is this file is sir? A is equal to thousand is there. B is equal to two thousand. Two thousand is there. Okay, sir. I want to print a plus B. We know the answer which you are going to get is 3000. But uh, do you know in our mathematics or in, even in our day to day life, we will take a comma here. Okay, or, or let, it, let us be the number is 10,000, 20,000. 
so it is our common habit to put comma for separation of the positions but uh, this is not allowed in python even in java so the comma is having a separate uh, functionality that's why what python people is it sir really if you want comma don't use comma you can use underscore you can use underscore for separation sir 10 underscore sir 10000 so 10 underscore triple zero which represent a separation is there between these three digits and then two digits okay sir this program this program is valid this program this program okay is valid in one version but but invalid invalid okay sir in this version <laughs> okay i will explain i will replace that x sir have a look once i am copy pasting this program here okay i will execute this program first in 3.5 array sir how to execute this program in 3.5 sir py py hyphen 3.5 py hyphen 3.5 space test dot py array can you execute my test dot py program in 3.5 version oh it is invalid can you execute the same program in 3.6 <laughs> have you observed we got the answer that means these constants these constants came in 3.6 and above it is valid this program is valid 3.6 and above but invalid in 3.5 and below okay so that means note what is the note to be noted sir underscore concept underscore concept for separating okay for separating okay digits is introduced introduced in which version guys 3.3.6 version of python like this so many versions are there so many differences i mean new concepts are there like walrus operator okay so dictionary related enhancements all these things i will discuss okay in our in our uh, regular classes don't worry so now i want to consolidate the commands used in python array first i want to list out all the commands py hyphen zero py hyphen zero sir which will list out list out all the commands all the commands okay all the uh, installed all the installed versions in our mission okay then then sir next py py hyphen version py hyphen version sir which is current version which is current version activated activated okay in our mission that that thing will be displayed by using P, py hyphen version okay sir if you want to have a look once sir py hyphen version sir which version we are using sorry uh, hyphen hyphen version so python 3.9.5 so py hyphen hyphen version this is the command okay sir then the third one are i want to execute my python program okay in the latest version don't worry sir py space test dot py sir which executes which executes our python program our python program in the latest version in the latest version which you installed in your mission are i want to execute in a specified version don't worry sir 3.x where x may be your specified version so now this program will be executed this exe we can execute execute our program okay sir in 3.x version so these are the commands that you need to remember okay while doing with the python programs okay sir this is about uh, how to how to okay how to work with python programs and uh, i explained python installation okay and uh, python sample programs just we have seen python sample programs and we executed some programs in the offline and online editors commands used in python sir we will discuss the comments in python in the upcoming sessions okay yeah sir uh, yeah doubts are coming oh sir i installed already yeah okay no issues it will be fine unix i will explain don't worry Sir, can we write code in text pad? Yes, we can. We can. Sir, our class, how many versions we have to download? <laughs> Don't download all the versions. 
download latest version. What is that latest version? 3.9. So the things which I am going to explain to you people will work in 3.9. But just for uh, differentiation, really is it introduced in 3.6 or 3.5? That part I will explain. For, for you people, for practicing, no need. You can install latest version 3.9. Okay. So for our session, 3.9 is enough. 3.9.5. So by, by coming to the next class, please try to install that particular version into your local mission. Okay. So never recommended to use always, always online compiler. Okay. Yeah. So that's all about today's session. Just we discussed only installation procedures installation procedures okay so from monday we are going to have a regular batch okay so continuation for this we will discuss so let me summarize the topics which we discussed okay sir fundamentals we have seen introduction introduction to the programming introduction to the programming and we have seen introduction introduction to python okay and some fundamentals fundamentals we discussed like where we can use python which companies are using python okay so how what kind of approach it is following or let me take sir why why name python why name python okay then sir which companies which companies are using python okay what approach python is following what approach python follows okay then we have seen so many examples examples around uh, uh have you observed sir 13 programs we discussed till now 13 programs we discussed okay and we have explained installation process installation process of python okay and various commands commands used in python so with this i am going to end sir we are going to start a full-fledged syllabus anyway these topics won't be repeated from monday again we will start from the point where we stopped okay Sir, from Monday, we are going to start comments, comments in Python, okay? And then we will discuss, uh, sir, important keywords. What are the important keywords, okay? And uh, identifiers, identifiers in Python. And then we will discuss directly about the data types. So do you know around 14 data types are there? That part we will discuss. And three important functions are there in Python. So all these things we are going to start on Monday, okay? Yeah. Yeah, if you are having any doubts, sir, please, you can ask me. Sumit, no problem. Which version you have installed? Sumit, which version you installed in your mission? You can check by using py-version. hyphen 3.8. Better to upgrade to 3.9 maximum there won't be any problem okay maybe one or two while explaining wireless operator you may feel difficult okay writing a program in which editor can be used sir better to install this edit plus software okay if you want monday i will explain how to install this edit plus software okay so better to take this edit plus software it will be very useful for you people okay because the syntax highlighting highlight will be there okay so you can differentiate array whether the program is correct or wrong yeah jagannath sahu is it okay sir when we will get the link from regular classes yeah i hope all the people got registered so you are going to get a link from by tomorrow 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 evening oh, not tomorrow evening so tomorrow there is no class okay so the classes will be only on from monday to friday okay sir so saturday sunday you don't have any classes so probably you are going to receive the mails from uh admin people on sunday 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 you are going to receive the mails. Okay, regular go to go to meeting links. Regular link you are going to receive. Okay, so kindly register by today itself. Yeah, 
so many people are there in the session but only few people registered so i request everyone to register by today itself okay yeah any other queries guys yes please confirm any other queries from your side about the course or about the timings or about our sessions yeah so that's all about today's session we will meet for the continuation on monday sir monday from monday we are going to okay concentrate more on the programming area okay so because these are demo sessions that's why i took only small amount and i prolonged the classes to teach only one or two restricted topics but from monday we are going to uh, enter into running this we need to run equally okay saturday and sunday we don't have any classes because i have weekend batches that's why saturday and sunday we don't have any classes but once if the batch is framed we will discuss and we will plan one or two hours on uh, holidays also if if required with the permission of all our students we need to see the comfortable of each and every person right that's why so timings will remain same yes exactly sumit the timings are from 7 am to 8 or maximum 8 15 okay sir prepare in your mind that it will be taking up to 8 15 so there are some topics are there big topics once if i start the topic we need to finish otherwise uh, you can't get much clarity once if it is continued in the next session so in such a cases we required long duration okay yeah any other queries guys So that's all about today's session. Okay. So keep safe in home. Practice the programs. Okay. Do friendship with your uh, computer. Yeah. Don't go outside because the situation is very worst. Okay. Yeah. So have a nice weekend for all of you. Yeah. Thank you, Harish. Hope you enjoyed my sessions. How was the sessions? <laughs> how was the sessions almost you attended four sessions yeah fine yeah so you have to prepare for the class and you have to ask as many as questions because the benefits of our class should be for both of us you need to ask more questions i need to explore more myself so that i will share the knowledge for you people okay uh, anaconda also we will we will install and then we will do the programs anaconda is also one powerful id okay we can practice programs even in anaconda also okay yeah ganesh ganesh chalasani we will do that okay maximum editors we will touch don't worry okay I'm not getting you, Sumit. Which one you are asking? Yeah, material will be shared for you people. On Monday, I will share. Okay. Because these are demo sessions. It will be there uh, in the YouTube and a few people are not yet registered that's why we didn't share monday definitely you are going to get all the credentials okay yeah so thank you guys if you are not receiving any mails you can attend with the same link <laughs> okay if the if the meeting links is shared for you people use that meeting link if it is not shared by admin people use this same link okay sir so probably they will share okay Sir, thank you. See you on Monday. Bye.